Playoff baseball returns to Fargo tonight with the FM Redhawks looking to get a step closer to securing their league's top prize. The Redhawks and the Milwaukee Milkmen each taking one game so far in the battle for the Mills Wolf Miles Wolf Cup. This third game a crucial one in the best of five series. We're scoreless heading to the bottom of the third inning, but the Redhawks open things up in style. Peter Maris up to bat with a man on. He slaps this one deep into right field. The ball flies over the wall onto Albrecht Boulevard. Maris and Christian Correa come home. It's a two to nothing lead for the Red Hawks. It's not going to take long to add to that either. We're still in the third inning when Manny Boscon fires one right back up the middle of the field. Drew Ward shows off the speed now rounding third and coming all the way back home for a three nothing lead for Fargo Moorhead and they still aren't done. The third inning barrage continues for the Red Hawks with Nick Novak up to bat. Novak threads the needle with two milkmen diving for the ball, but neither one can get there. Two more runners come home. The Red Hawks finish the top of the frame with a 5-0 lead. The milkmen looking to respond in the bottom of the inning, but Tyler Grauer says not so fast. Grauer doesn't even give him a chance, striking the batter out looking to retire the side. He wouldn't even allow a hit through the first five innings of this one. And the Red Hawks have their first lead of the Wolf Cup Finals. 7-2, the final score from Newman Outdoor Field. Grauer ended up pitching for 7.1 innings, striking out six batters along the way. Luke Lind came in to finish things up on the mound. The Hawks are now up two games to one in the championship series, meaning that a win tomorrow will secure their first ever American Association Championship. Minnesota Twins opening up a series full of must-win games down in Kansas City tonight, but it's the Royals defending their home field in this shootout. 5-4 to four the final there. Minnesota jumped out to a three-run lead, but just weren't able to hold on. They're now seven and a half games back to the AL Central title. Not quite eliminated from playoff contention just yet, but a win tomorrow against Kansas City would certainly help as the, uh, their cause as this series rolls on. And we're already gearing up for hockey season with UND set to host their first exhibition game in a little over a week. They're already getting some love in the preseason polls as well. They're, not only are they ranked fourth in the nation in the preseason poll, but Reese Gaber's been named preseason all-conference. Gaber grabbed one of the three forward spots that were available on the all-NCHC squad alongside reigning national champion Carter Mazur and St. Cloud State's Yami Cronilla. He was the first team All-NCHC last year after leading the team and scoring 37 points. Gaber and the rest of the North Dakota hockey team will host Manitoba in an exhibition on October 1st. Already hockey season. That's amazing. I think we're talking about hockey season Baseball's already. Baseball's ending. Football's here. Hockey's coming. Lots of transition. Lots of transition. As for what the weather is doing. Hutch is back. <laughs>